Hi, my name is Derek. I'd like to welcome you back to another short training video. Today we're going to discuss some bolt-in hardware, specifically the B23C bracket. Well, you'll find this bracket always on our three inch belts, it's always sewn in, whether it's pull up, pull down. It can also be used on our shoulder belts as well, so I'll take you how to wrap it through it right now. First, we take an LV7, come up through the bottom, down through the top, and leave ourselves some extra webbing. So at this point, with this hardware, it's got a 43 millimeter slot in it, so we have to fold the webbing over, as you can see, and we insert it through and pull it down. Now one of the tricky things about this wrap is just keeping the webbing in the right place as, it, as you bring it down. So if you want to cheat a little bit, you can just pull the bracket all the way down where you need to be and just rotate the webbing over so it splits the belt 50-50 on each side. So essentially it'll look like this. So at that point we back the LV7 up so we have just enough there. We bring our webbing through come back up through the LV7. Again, we come down. Tighten our wrap. And then again, come back through the LV7 to lock, this, to lock the wrap. At this point, this is a completed wrap. We take a zip tie, roll this up so it looks like a nice clean install. So as you can see, our webbing is folded in nice and evenly on both sides and that's what makes a wrap work. So when you install these, all the holes are originally set up for a half inch bolt. So what we do is if we want to use one of our hardware, say it's 7 16 we take our S pivot sleeves, insert them, and then obviously with our bolt and our attachment point, draw it up. Now also for our shoulders, you don't have to use a B23. You can also use the B24 or the B64. So depending on what your application is, whether it's for a NASCAR, Formula car, or just basically space constraints throughout the cockpit, each hardware has its own specific application. The other nice thing about the B23C is it's bendable, and I'll show you that just as soon as I get it off this piece of webbing. So as you can see with the B24, it comes with a 15 degree bend. And that pretty much is ideal if your bolt comes straight down and you're trying to line up your shoulder harnesses. But at the same token, if the bolt where you come through on the harness bar isn't at that proper angle, what you can do is you can bend this up to 90 degrees in a horizontal fashion. Now, once these are bent once, you, can, you can't bend them back. So it's very important to remember that. Again, with the same, the same idea, you still have to fold the webbing in just the same as you do with the B23C, the B64 is the same way. Now the B64 and the B24 have a 50 millimeter opening through here, so they can also be used with two inch webbing, but the B23 is a three inch specific only. Again, as we come through, it's gonna be the same wrap, we'll just leave the LV7 as we showed before, fold the tabs in, slide the B64 down in position, again, we bring folding of the webbing over so it's even on both sides so we look like this slide the LV7 back come through the bottom down through the top again straighten up the wrap bring back through top of the LV7 Pull it tight. At this point, as you can see, the wrap is complete. That concludes today's video. Thank you. We'll see you at the track.